Photo News, South Canterbury's photographic newspaper, fortnightly issue number 10 on the 18th of April 1984. South Island and Canterbury Bodybuilding Championships. On the left is the winner of the South Island and Canterbury Bodybuilding Competition is Mr. S. Kumitu. Kumu is his known to his friends. He has been in serious training for the championships which were held in Timaru at the weekend for only six months. His long-term goal is to win the New Zealand title and intends putting in long hours of training and dedication required for this demanding sport. On the right is Rachel Adams from Dunedin who appeared in her first competition at the weekend and took third place in the women's section. She has been training for about nine months. Apart from the competitions, one of the highlights of the evening was a guest appearance by Timaru Warren Thin, who holds who he, holds the New Zealand title. The event was staged at the DB Tavern and drew a crowd of about 350 people. Page 2. Photo News People. Potters and pottery lovers gathered at the Antigua Art Gallery at the weekend to view a contra, 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 comprehensive display of pottery. Discussing the exhibits are Maureen Hodge, President of the South Canterbury Potters Club, Helen Gayson, a group of group member, and Sir Ronald Scott, who was guest speaker of the evening. The photo was sponsored by Canterbury Interiors Limited. Caroline Bay swayed to the sound of pipes and drums on Sunday as pipe bands from all over the South Island took part in competitions. Top the city is the city of the City Timaru Highland Pipe Band took part in the Street March Parade. Photo was sponsored by Simon Hocking Travel. On the left, Mr Rob Shand of Fairley, Pipe Major of the Mackenzie Highland Pipe Band, photo sponsored by Olive Business Equipment. On the right, Dave Harland, drum mage of the Canterbury Caledonian Pipe Band from Christchurch, and the photo was sponsored by McFarland and Johnson Limited. The page was sponsored by Wallace and Cooper Limited. Photo News Looking just like a scene from a western, contestants from as far south as in Invercargill and far north as Murchison travelled to Albury for the South Island cut, Cutting Horse Competitions. Albury competitors Adrian McPherson, riding Chip, and R. Fisher of Paris go through their paces. Photo was sponsored by Pine Gall and Guinness. Mr. Harry Ward blows out the candles on the hundred on his hundred and first birthday cake. Mr. Ward celebrated this occasion at the Margaret Wilson home with staff, family, and invited guests. This photo is sponsored by Mackenzie and Willis. Page was also sponsored by Pine Gold and Guinness. Photo news advertising design by Rosemary Miller. And photo news copies available from Sharon Bishop. Photo news people. Over 1,000 fish lovers and a special treat had a special treat last week when fresh fish was offered for sale at greatly reduced prices after members of the Food Processing and Chemical Workers Union held a one-day stoppage. The dispute has been resolved. Photo sponsored by Jack Penny Car Sales. A fashion parade with a difference was held in Timaru recently. The parade featured high fashion garments designed by Robert Gormack. Front row Sue Parker, Robert Gormack designer, Annette Gormack, front row Mandy Donald and N Nicola Morehouse.
Children from Pleasant Point Play Centre recently visited the old people's ward at Timaru Hospital. The children gave sweets to the eight patients and entertainment and entertained them with nursery rhymes and songs. Bronwyn Scott gives some sweets to Mr. Mrs. B. Logan while it left Christine Chris, Kristen Clark photo sponsored by Wallace and Cooper. Page was sponsored by South Canterbury Finance, Murray Park, Parker Sports World and Olaf's Business Equipment. Photo News People The winner of the Ray Park Auto Pre-65 series is Mr Kevin Pateman, pictured with his Ford Lotus Cortina 1600. It took 14 races at seven different meetings to secure Mr Pateman's title. After being runner-up in the 1980 and, and 11 and the 1981 to 1982 championships, Mr. Payton was delighted to have finally secured the top place. Photo sponsored by Wayne Hill Yamaha. Girl guides and brownies got together recently to sell ever-popular girl guide biscuits. Offering the biscuits for sale are Robin Fofin, 10, and Kirsty Bailey, 10, photo sponsored by Hadlow Game Park. Top. Bill Shearer of Makiki Fries takes the Caroline ca Corner the hard way in his Vauxhall Velux 3-3. 3,300. Photo sponsored by Hanson Tire Services. Above is Peter Yates of Dunedin has some trouble in, in his Toyota Corolla during the motor racing at levels at the weekend. Photo sponsored by Showground Service Station. Page was also sponsored by McFarlane and Johnson Company and Simon Hocking Travel. On page six we have more photo news people. Kirstlyn McGoughlin is hard at work washing cars to raise money for the Timaru Town and Country basketball team. The money will be used for the men's uniforms as this is the first year the club has entered a team in the competition. Photo sponsored by Errol James Car Sales. Mr Bill Bradley has an interesting expression while throwing darts at St Philip's Fair at the weekend. Photo sponsored by Murray Parker Sports World. At the top, Joanne Phillips of Nelson took, part, took first place in the women's section of the South Island Canterbury Bodybuilding Competition and above, Marco Jacobs also of Nelson, who took second place. Photo sponsored by John Johnson's Employment Agency and also sponsored by Smith's Wholesale Groceries and Owen's Wholesale Market. Page 7, More People Mr Gerald Morton of Timaru is one of two New Zealanders shown to attend the annual JC's Cultural and Business Exchange to Japan. The Managing Director of Morton & Co, Mr Morton, will spend two weeks in Japan next month. He is to spend a week living in the Japan with the Japanese family and will then move on to a cruise ship with 540 people. Most of them will be businessmen and JCs. Photo sponsored by Mutual Travel. Jason Nortsey overwhelmed children at the Geraldine function as he arrived at the Milky Bar Kid with a bag full of goodies. Photo sponsored by Farmers Trading. Women's soccer is proving popular in South Canterbury with more teams entered in the 1984 competition. Vying for possession of the ball, a Susan Cowan left playing at Mountain View in Kotu uh, Lindsay of, Fair, of Thistle Blue. Photo sponsored by South Canterbury Finance. 
The page was also sponsored by Marco Wakefield, Dalgety Crown and Cobb and & Co. Page spread in spot colour red. Photo news album. Griffiths Stephen. Elizabeth and Bevan Griffiths were married in Chalmers Church, Timaru. The bride, Elizabeth, is the only daughter of Valerie and Bob Stephen of Timaru, and the groom, Bevan, is the younger son of Dixie and Trevor Griffiths of Arafanua. Wayne Miller Photography and sponsored by Howard's Cane Furniture. For the first of three for 1975, the Canterbury Western Branch of the New Zealand Professional Photographers Association print competition was held in Christchurch recently. Photographers may enter a maximum of four prints in the competition. Mr Wayne Miller entered four prints and all were accepted at merit standard. Another local professional, Mr Tim Hawkins, had uh, another local uh, had a print accepted at merit standard. Photo sponsored by Royal Garden Restaurant. Wright and Stapp. Lynette and Mike were married at St John's Church on March the 10th. Lynette and Mike wish to thank everyone concerned for with the most important day of their lives. Photo by Tim Hawkins and sponsored by Cobb & Co. Public Notice. Re Miss South Canterbury Competition. We regret to advise our readers that we are unable to display any photographs of the contestants as photographs as planned because of the sole photographic rights made by the organisers of the contest. Photos by Gus Bishop, editor and chief photographer. The page was sponsored by Howard's Cane Furniture, South Canby Electric Power Board, Butterfields, South Canterbury Nurseries Limited and Mackenzie and Willis. Photo News People on page 10. Mountain View High School pupils recently spent their school day selling a nationwide lottery ticket to raise money for the school and for the spirit of adventure. These two smiling ticket sellers are Dan Danella Honeywell and Sally Ann Toa. Photo sponsored by Radio Caroline. On the far left, Sunday afternoons are proving popular for skeet and trap shooting at levels, with duck shooters showing particular interest in the season as the season approaches. W. McCarthy, who was the winner of the overall skeet shoot. Photo sponsored by Crown Motors. Putting away their bowls for another season are Tamuka Bowlers, Sandy Donaldson, Frank Nye, Maura Gribb, Gibb and Barbara Hall. Photo sponsored by May's Bakery and Restaurant. The page was sponsored by Thompson's Refrigeration and FTC, Farmers Trading Company Limited. Right, page 11, Photo News Sport. Zingari player Kevin Williams fends off a Tamuka player during a senior rugby match at Fraser Park. After being down 9-3 at half-time, Tamuka came back to win the game 27-16, photo by the, sponsored by the uh, Cyclery. Powering out on the water is Kauai owned by Murray Rule of Tamuka during the King of the Harbour race at the Timaru Harbour. The feature race was won by Derek Olaf of Timaru, photo sponsored by Rod Cook and Auto, Marine and Auto. The St Andrews Women's Bowling Club recently celebrated their 25th anniversary at St Andrews. Foundation members are D Manchester, F. Murphy, J. Sir Shirtcliffe, H. Rouse, O. Offen, W. Longman, D. Shirtcliffe, M. Ward, 
and Mrs. O. Effort often, the first year lady president of the club, and Mr. Fred Murphy joins in the anniversary celebrations. Photos sponsored by Smith's Wholesale Groceries. Page was also sponsored by Mays and also had the Hadlow Game Park. Wheels Motor Market. Wheels Motor Market. John Shelton Motors. There's a photograph there of John Shelton and Bruce. Bruce Donaldson. Errol James was also a sponsor on that page. Hanson's Tire Services. The Cyclery. Wayne Hill Yamaha. Over here we have 21 years in New Zealand. Sponsor, the page sponsored by Crown Motors. And in the, in the photographs are Bob Robb, Dick Blanchard, Maury Niles, Alan Jones and Les Newell. Over here we have Jack Penny car sales. Photo of there of Jack Penny and Bruce Forrester. Pike Suzuki also sponsored the page along with Rod Cook Marine and Showground Service Station. Photo news. Names, faces and places. An amazing gentleman. Friday the 13th may be an unlucky day for some, but for one Timaru man, Friday April the 13th was a very special day. Mr Henry James Ward celebrated his 101st birthday on that day and marked it with a celebration at the Margaret Wilson home where he has resided since 1975. A Londoner from a Londoner from a family of four, Mr. Ward tells many interesting stories relating to his work and as a London taxi and double-decker bus driver. In his, first, in his 25 years of taxiing, Mr. Ward chauffeured some of the best-known names of London society, including Sir Winston Churchill and King Edward the... whatever. Paul Burroughs are three months... A three months cross examination of London City had to be endured before Mr. Ward could obtain a license to operate as a taxi driver. In 1920, he drove a two cylinder Renault, and other cars he drove included a, a Unic and a Panaru. Mr. Ward enlisted in, 1970, in 1917 and served as the British Army in both World Wars. Mr. Ward remembers singing in a, as a choir boy at St. Bartholomew the Great, which he says is one of the oldest churches in Un England, in London. He married Phony, Phoebe Davis at the age of 27 and in his retirement in 1958 came to New Zealand and settled in Invercargill before moving to Timaru. The couple were married for 60 years before Mrs. Ward died at the age of 93. This page was sponsored by Dove Print, Newman's Music Centre, Second Hand Shop, Hull Signs, Margaret's Music Centre, Bishop Campbell and Co., Ashbury Gift Centre, Stafford Scissors, Royal Garden Restaurant, Mutual Travel Service, Canterbury Interiors Limited, O'Loughlin's Furniture, Wymody Auctions, BC Harris, Whitestone Lodge, Highfield Fish Supply, Albury Tavern, Royal Garden Restaurant, Mutual Travel Service, Sir Basil Arthur, Vote Labour. You're Member of the Parliament for Timur Electric, Electric, Electric. The overall objective of the Labour Party is to raise the living standards of all New Zealanders. 
To do this, we must encourage sustained non-inflationary growth, provide more employment opportunities, provide a better deal for the, for the low- and middle-income householders, and promote community direction. That was page 14 of Photo News. Page 15 on issue number 10. Photo News People. About 2,000 people took part, took the opportunity to look over the Timaru Herald's new building during an open day at the weekend. Shane Lemon of Timaru checks out the chief reporter's desk and found there was plenty to keep him occupied. Photo was sponsored by Owens Food Arama. A cast of about 95 displayed their drama skills and, and enthusiasm in the production of Aladdin and his Lamp. There was never a dull moment as the cast moved among the audience with bright and colourful dance routines, humour and laughter. Above, Stephen Cro Co Cockcroft as Abanza. Top, Catherine Robertson as Aladdin... And Mr. David Williams as Widow Twanky, photo sponsored by Dalgety Crown. Ten members of the Labor Party recently received gold badges for long and loyal service to the party. Back row is B. Hope, A. Aldridge, the local member of Parliament, Sir Basil Arthur, C. Bunting, W. Westerby, Lady Arthur, P. Malloy, M. Marshall, M. Cormack, photo sponsored by the New Zealand Labour Party. Page was also sponsored by Radio Caroline. And there's also a photo there of Ron Bishop. Did you know Photo News is the only South Canterbury newspaper that will be going into almost every home and business in South Canterbury during its subscription campaign? Did you know that photo news is already being posted to other areas in New Zealand and overseas? Did you know that photo news advertisers are enjoying positive results from, ever, from regular advertising in photo news? Then maybe it's time for a change. Advertise in photo news, the small paper with the big circulation. Ron Bishop, Advertising Sales. Photo News, page 16. Handicap. Page and, and there's a crossword puzzle there we've introduced. Page sponsored by Johnson's Employment Agency. Order photo news on subscription. Dear readers, our thanks go out again to the many readers who have become photo news subscribers. As a result of that support, we have much pleasure in introducing you to our family fun page. These are just some of the many interesting and exciting things we hope to introduce to Photo News in, as your subscription support increases. There are many readers who may be confused or sceptical as to why there are, we are now asking them for a contribution towards the cost of our services. To ensure them of our intentions, we have attempted to answer some of the questions in the questionnaire below. Here are if there are readers who have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Ronnie Bishop, General Manager of Photo News. Question. I thought Photo News was free. Why do I now have to pay? Yes, Photo News is being delivered to most households and businesses, houses in South Canterbury free of charge. The demand for Photo News copies, however, is such that it's impossible to provide the whole of South Canterbury with a free photo newspaper. All free copies will now become complimentary copies and those who pay a subscription fee will be assured of receiving a regular fortnightly copy. Question. Why then should I pay while my neighbour receives his copy free? Answer. There will always be some who are prepared to contribute more th towards one particular community service than another. Photo News is meeting the needs of the community by promoting various activities in, the fo in photographic form. 
Phony News currently employs only one full-time photographer, but needs to employ more photographers to meet the demands of each individual community. Your contribution will be helping to provide this service. Question. How many copies do I get if I become a subscriber? Answer. Phony News has set an annual fee for its services in preference to per copy cost. cost. The annual subscription fee period is from April 1st to March 31st each year, provided the subscriber pays um, uh, an annual subscription fee period, provided a subscriber pays their subscription fee at the start of Phony News year, they will receive to at least receive 25 regular fortnightly copies. The sooner you pay your subscription fee, the more regular copies of Photo News you will be assured of receiving. Question. How can I be sure Photo News will continue in business? Answer. The most, the major cost of producing Photo News has been and will continue to be met by advertisers. The advertising support received by the business community it so far has been excellent and provides the advertisers continue to receive the same positive response from the public they will continue to advertise. All subscription fees are being invested in a separate bank account and will only be used for promotional purposes or wages for additional staff. It is through the support and employment of additional staff that will ensure Photo News continues in business and becomes a household name and a permanent part of South Canterbury. Question. What will happen if I don't subscribe to Photo News? Answer. Photo News will, does not expect it that everyone receiving its paper will continue subscribers for their own personal reasons and Photo News will respect their decisions. Photo News will continue to promote its paper, however, and those who do not subscribe must appreciate they will all, not always continue to receive a regular comp complimentary copy each fortnight. And there's a place there to send off your subscription order.